So when you're thinking about step two, a tried and, and, and true formula is, is to get really specific, first of all, of what you want to do with your life. What are you here for? Get really specific, not just vague or general. Once you've done that and you get an idea what it is, then you start mixing that with belief. And this is where a lot of people have negative self-talk that says, well, I couldn't do that. Well, they can do it, but I couldn't do that. Here's the thing, you know, if someone has done something in this world, there is no reason, you know, you can't do it as well. Okay? And there might be obstacles, we'll get to that in a second, but there's no reason why you can't. So you mix that belief with your purpose, and then you start getting really emotional with it. So you mix in with some real emotion, so you get emotionally attached to what your purpose is. If anybody here is a member of the Entrepreneurs Forum, if you have been to any of their events, you'll hear people talk about entrepreneurs always seems if they're up to something. They're always on a, they've got a master plan. They're always going to do something. And that's what being on purpose is about. It's having, knowing what you're here for and then going and doing it. So step two is to mix your definite major purpose, find out what it is and having one thing you really focus on, mixing that with belief and emotion, and that's when things will start to happen. So you've took responsibility and then you've actually decided you know why you're here. Once you've done that, step three is to get good at goal setting and goal achieving. Now, a lot of us will say, yeah, yeah, set goals and, and you know, there's not really a, a one way to actually set goals. Some people write them down in, in books. I've got a goal book that I review every few days. Some people have them on the laptop, some people have them in cards in their pockets, some people just keep them in their head. The point is, is to actually, once you know where you're going and you've got your definite purpose, is to set some goals, some, some targets and stepping stones that you can actually measure how you're doing as you're advancing towards that. And then obviously a quote from Andrew Carnegie, if you want to be happy, set a goal that commands your thoughts, liberates your... your um, your energy and inspires your hope. So that's like about really something that's really personal to you. Now, once you've unleashed the power of goal setting, what I've done with clients a lot of the time is to, is to get people to think about a, a real breakthrough goal. Now, some people here might have that, and if you have, that's brilliant. If you haven't got a breakthrough goal, I would really urge you to think about something that once you achieve it, when you get there, will absolutely astound you. This is something that would just revolutionise your life, your business. It might be learning a language to, en to enable you to go to a different market. It may be to run that marathon. It may be to, I don't know, develop your business in a certain way. So it's, you know, finish the degree, do an MBA, whatever it might be. So it's thinking about what would happen if I achieve this really stretch goal? How different could my life be? So that's something that really, really you have to, not something that's going to happen if you just, you know, put about 50% effort in, not something that's like, oh yeah, you know what I mean, if I turn up on, uh, you know, at London, Florida Marathon, I'll be able to just get round in, in four hours. I'm talking about something that really drives you and have that written or, or have it somewhere really clear so that on a consistent basis in the front of your mind is your stretch goal. And it's obviously, this is totally personal to anybody else, but you've probably got something you think, well, if I could do that, if I could qualify in that area or learn that new skill or, or do something, my life will be totally different. And that's what we're talking about here. So to, to recap then, we've took responsibility. We, we know that we, what, what we're actually here to do. We know what our purpose is. So we've got clear with that and we've got some goals. And really, you know, people really should have, you know, it depends if you're, not, if you're new to it, five or ten goals. People are very good at goal setting, goal achieving, will have 15, 25 goals. And you review this on a consistent basis, can be daily, can be weekly. But if you've got things in your mind that you haven't really formalised and you don't really know where you're going, goal setting can achieve that for you. So you've done that and you've done your goals. Step four is where you start acting as if and you go the extra mile. This is very funny. This is not a case of like, fake it till you make it. This is actually thinking about what I want out of my life, what my purpose is, and acting as if you've already got it during the process. So if you think from a sporting perspective, you'll be getting some guys now will be acting, they'll be living, they'll be, they'll be, doing, they'll be having a diet, the training, as if they've already won Olympic gold ready for 2012. 
They'll not be sort of lying in bed under three pizza cartons thinking I'll start trading soon, it's a two year, two year away. They'll be acting as if, and the ones that actually do succeed are living that life of the professional athlete to the nth degree during the process. So that's what acting as if is about. So it's, you know, instead of saying, well, when I get really successful, I'll start doing this, or yeah, you know, when my business gets to this level, I'll start following up with clients, or I'll put an eight-stage follow-up process in place, or have an autoresponder so everyone gets an email back in within half an hour saying, thanks for contacting us. Some people will actually think like that when I get to a certain stage. What we're saying is, acting as if you're already there will start to get you to realize that it's more possible, and then you're in that sort of cycle and that's what's very, very important. When you do that, you then also, you are always looking for areas where you can go the extra mile. We've probably all experienced in the last maybe six months or, or a year where we've had someone who really went the extra mile for us in, in, in our business or when you were a customer at a restaurant or whatever. I don't just mean someone doing a, a fair job. I mean really go the extra mile. Now, the clever thing to do is to think about what did that make you feel like? So think, think about something that you did, that, that someone came into contact with you and they really went out of their way to make sure that you're, you, know, you were happy or you had the right service or whatever it would be. Because when you're looking at becoming super successful, you have to constantly over deliver. You're looking all the ways of adding value. How can I do more? How can I, how can I give them that little bit extra? Because that's the businesses that will be succeeding. That's the businesses that will be building their customer uh, base through referral systems, things like that. that that's what happens. So you, 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 you really, if you haven't looked at this recently, go back to your business and think, how can I go the extra mile? What can I do to deliver more? And instead of being worrying about being competitive, think about being creative far, far better place to be.